Hey, how'd you get in? I, uh... Go on, shove off. Lousy thralls. After this, the judgment. Excuse me? This city's destruction is at hand! What's with the shouting? I must call to the unsaved that they may hear. They need to know the word of God's love. It sounds to me like you're harassing them. Go on, what's the message? I'm listening. The kingdom of heaven is nearly upon us. We must prepare and seek his salvation. Turn aside from this false paradise of yours. The trance? You don't like the trance. It is a false promise of paradise. They will lead you into the belief that it can be achieved without faith in him. So you don't like the competition the trance gives religion? There are claims of those within that it is a new promised land. But it is not but a wretched hive of sin and debauchery. I don't like the word thrall, but I guess you could say I spend a lot of time in the trance. Then it is my mission to save you. I must place you on the path to his salvation. I must show you the way. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument, I agreed with you. How does someone get on that path? Hear me, my child. There are three stages. His kingdom, then the material, mortal world. Lastly, the mire of the virtual, wherein you are trapped. So, how do I get out of the virtual? We must start you outwards, and first give you an anchor in the material. While the virtual may seem to contain all the pleasures of the flesh, we must show you what the material can offer to begin the way up. Which is? The book says to use what he has given us, and I have been blessed with powerful barbiturates. You want to use drugs to get me off the trance? The pleasures of the material can rival that of the virtual. Thence, we can lead you to those of the divine. What church did you say you belong to? Think of it in terms of replacement therapy. A tried and true method for recovery from addictions. We must wean you away from the sin of the trance. I'm pretty sure my humanities teacher said that religious people have something against drugs and alcohol. These are but substances that occur within his creation. He has created the means that I may bring the flock to him. God created people, right? And people made the trance. So didn't God also make the trance by extension? That is so, and its existence is such as the world is. But it is its sinful use, its perversion by mankind that leads the young away from him. Is this a good spot for you? I pray for the young, springing forth from within the den. With the message, I seek to show them his way. And a lot of barbiturates? I use what means I must, and what he reveals to me. I've been thinking about what you've been saying. I definitely want to repent. Hallelujah, my child. This is a glorious day. Yes, um, rejoice. Are you prepared to begin your spiritual journey? Yes, praise be, etc. Very well, but first, a donation is required. Wait, what? The means to salvation are a cost, my child. Narcotics are expensive to come by. Bye. Repent before it is too late. Und äh, schreit Furcht einflößend. I see you. <laughs> How dare you approach my domains? You will fulfill your bones burn. <laughs> Good. Do you have any idea how tenuous our situation is? Our sponsor may have money to burn, but if we make a single misstep, the provisional government will shut us down. All we need is the death of one stupid woman, and our work will be for naught! Who among you best pleased holy and honor?
Lugalupo, rennen zu. Let it be the one who has worked the land. Let it be the one who has tempted the herd. Let it be the one who has pleased our lady. Let it be the one who has best served Holy Elara. Memory Block C1, Part 1. Initiating recording. Honorable Committee, we have a problem which I believe is very serious. Uh. Yes, we really do. If your calculations are right, we need to get rid of them exactly as it was predicted what? by your... Doriel. I call her Doriel. An artificial intelligence capable of predicting the future. If this data Interesting. is correct, but I really don't want to believe that. They could cause a lot of damage to the whole universe. With your permission, we could erase them once and for all. So you do have a plan? Yes, we do. And it is completely safe and no one will get hurt. We need to think about this. If this mission happens, it'll have to be under strict control. Entire nations would have to unite together to deal with it. Take as much time as you need, but the six of June 2121 mm. is the day when we will all need to be ready. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? No, that's not the Chronicler. Was Lily Myers the Chronicler? The drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the Great Threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions. Touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. What do you know about the man in red? That's not the men who break the rules. You mean the black hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know m Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. Last time we met was... ugly. Looking away... Won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes. 
indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you, too. What did? Meeting the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? Oh, yes. They felt so warm, so comfortable luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line, the thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The cradle of obscurity. The Alpha to our Omega. The distorted mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. Is the Church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child. Our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Nurse! I need more than that, Jimmy. <gasps> <laughs> Nurse, help! I need to find Eileen. 